Hi guys, how are you? Today we will start our new classes Calculus 2 classes Calculus 2 classes Techniques of Integration Techniques of Integration Our class today will be class 1 about There going to be too many classes I'm going to do my best, I'm going to do my best to have all Calculus 2 material done within this summer. Uh, I'm going to do my best, I'm going to try. Actually, the beginning of Calculus 2 depends on, on techniques of integration. These techniques, you need to use it in the different problem, multi-problem. Let us see what we mean by this and let us see what you want you have to do if you have any question all what you have to do is please text me at this phone number or send an email to this in, this email then again calculus 2 classes technique of integration let us back to our screen and see what we gonna do okay. then as we mentioned our class about techniques of integration the first techniques of integration the first technique of integration You have to understand, we, now we talk about Calculus 2, Calculus 2 classes. Calculus 2 classes, which is mean you have to be strong in the basic of Calculus. Derivative, some basic integration, integrals. Okay, integration. By what we said? The first one, substitution. The basic idea, the basic idea in this, the basic idea the basic idea in this guy the basic is to have two functions one of them one of them is the derivative of the other and the derivative of the other function okay this is the basic idea this is the basic idea one two function one of them the derivative of the other. Look uh, some example and yeah, some example. Some examples. If you have sine three x, what the derivative of sine? Because that I said. Because of that I said we have to be uh, good in calculus one. What the derivative of uh, sine? cosine 3x and don't forget the derivative of the angle which is what 3 comes here this one example as example another example x a cube plus 3x square what the derivative of this guy what the, this is the function and this is f prime 
what the drift of this guy go ahead guys one of you okay yes I hear you 3x squared plus 6x look look sometimes he will trick you look here the derivative of x cube 3x squared plus 6x sometimes he will trick you he will give you as an example uh, sorry sometimes I will give you like this x square plus 2x you see it's a, this is what the relation between this and this the relation between this and this this is part of that this is three times this guy this one third of this or this guy three times of this yeah, yeah I can't take three here as GCF great square factor what left x squared plus 2x which is the same as this remember this thing okay uh, let us take examples examples then the basic idea for integration by substitution is to have two function two function one of them is the derivative of the other okay examples example make any subject more clear example I'm going to start with some easy problem examples and then after that we will discuss a little hard one look to this example okay okay go side side x over Side x integration of side x over cosine cube x. Huge one is the one has power, we take it as well. U in the integration by substitution dx. What I mean by integration by substitution, I know integration of sine, I mean derivative of sine is cosine, and derivative of cosine is sine. What I have to do for this problem, look we have to assume one of the function u and we have to remember also from basic tricks cosine cube x is the same as cosine x cube good? good that's number one now and I know the cosine has derivative the cosine has derivative equal to sine then let us take u equal cosine x u equal cosine y x this is step one Okay, now we have to derive it. du over dx equal negative sine x because derivative of cosine negative sine. Now what we're looking for, we're looking for dx. Then I have a way I tell my kids always switch if you don't you if you don't switch you cross multiply you don't switch you cross multiply okay. if you don't to switch cross multiply okay I can cross multiply cross multiply I'm sorry Okay, let me just do different color. Cross, multiply, which is mean if you cross du equal cross du equal to what, guys? Du equal to negative sine x dx right du now we need dx we need what let me 
negative sine x dx and negative sine x dx. Now we need dx. Which one we need? dx. Then divide by what? Negative sine x. Negative sine x. This is a long process just to explain it. But from here, guys, look here. From here, I need dx, right? I need what? dx. I can switch right away. And instead of having all this long process, du over negative sine x equal dx equal dx equal dx okay. now I have with the couple of two students next to me he is a little late now okay I have an easy way to do it which is a switch right away or du over negative sine x you see what I did you switch this to this right away, equal dx. Then we back to our problem. We have everything ready here. We leave sine x. And cosine x is u. u cube, right? dx. And dx is what? Negative du over sine x. Or negative sine x in the bottom. D u over negative. What happened here? This cancel. You see the one and negative one? I can't take them out of the integration. Negative integration. Now I cannot integrate with the exponent in the bottom. That what happened to my student last time. And he integrated it, right? And he added three plus one. I have to take what? U to the what? Three, I'm sorry. U to negative 3, when you take it up, du. Now integrate it. Negative u to the negative 3 plus 1. Negative 2 over negative 2, right? For the integration, just to refresh your memory, it's u negative 3 plus 1. Plus 1, right? Over negative 3 plus 1. Okay which is negative cancel with negative, right? u to the negative 2 over 2. We don't forget the c. Don't forget what? The c, because this indefinite integration. This indefinite integration. Now, are we done? No, we have to simplify. Which is going to be 1, right? u negative 2. 1 half from this guy, 1 over u squared plus c. Bring u as is, 1 over half, u is sine x squared, 1 plus c. Or you can, if you want guys, you can do it 1 over sine square x. The second class, I will give him a hard problem to do, uh, sine x squared plus, to see our student, if he, even if he did it wrong, he's going to do it in the board. This is another example, one more example. Okay, let us is take this example in general, integration example, and find the rule. Find the rule. Find the rule, is my, which is not this problem, I'm going to give you another problem. The rule is cx plus d to the power m dx. What do you notice? Find the integration of integration of cx plus d to the power m dx. What do you notice in this, Mr. Ismail? It's a linear function. This guy is what? This linear function. I know the answer. Look here, for this linear function, guys, I'm going to prove it if the teacher wants you to prove it. What do you do? You leave the linear function, Smile, look at come there. You leave the cx plus d, right? What m plus what? Over what? m plus 1. What left we have to multiply, Smile? c. The derivative of which one? 
Okay, let me just say change C2 because I'm going to use the different integration, right? Uh, let me make what? This A. Can I make this A? A and this A. Because I'm going to use the C4 what? Can I? M plus 1, and the derivative here now is A. The derivative is A. Plus C now. Because that, uh, now, uh, where are you going? It's the class. For you. I'm watching. You're watching, huh? Yeah, I'm watching. But hold, you'll help me this. What I have to do now? I need to prove this equal to that. Go ahead. <coughs> U equal what? X plus B. Good job. Then here, U equal AX plus D. DU over what? dx no, yes. equal what? Only what? The a, right? Yes. Go ahead. Uh, du equals du. Du equals equal a dx, right? Yes. Good. Then you divide by, I know you can switch, as I told you, right? You can switch right away. Make du over a equal dx. Du over a equal dx. Good. Now we have everything done, right? All what we need. Now we have u, this guy, integration of u to the m, and dx, du over a, du over a right? Mm -hmm. Then 1 over a, from 1 over a, 1 over, right? Mm -hmm. And u to the m, m plus 1, u m plus 1, and then m plus 1. Good job, and bring u. U A X plus D M plus one over M plus one, which is what we need, right? Plus C. Then we can use this rule, guys. Look, example. We can use this rule for this function: three minus two x to the power seven dx. What's my integration quickly for this? Look, guys, how it's easy now. 3, Three minus 2x to the eight. One second, if, if you don't mind. 3 minus 2x to the 8, why 8? Right? You add 7 plus 1, right? Mm -hmm. The 8, you add 7 plus 1, right? Over 8, no, you have to do two steps, I'm sorry. 8, and the derivative of the inside is negative 2 plus c. Good? Which is 3 minus 2x 8 over negative 16 plus c. One more example. Example. Still I have time because my timer is running here. Okay. I have time for one more example. Then I'm gonna get second class, I'm gonna give him to the Okay, okay, look to this example, an integration of three, five plus three x to the seven dx. It looked like hard, right? How are we gonna do the deal with this? Since since this guy here, since this guy here is a linear I have no problem, right? What we have to do quickly? Seven over three plus. What we're gonna do? We're gonna do it like this: integration five plus three x over three dx. And before I do my integration, before my do, I start doing my integration. Before I start doing my integration, I'm, I convert this from the radical form to the exponential form, right? From radical form to the exponential what? form. Then watch, you cannot deal with any problem before you convert it from radical to exponential. I'm gonna finish it quickly, just stop. Now that apply the rule. Apply the rule. Five. Seven thirds. Five plus three x plus one. Seven over three plus one over what? 
7 over 3 plus 1. I have an easier way, I'm going to show it to you. Plus C. Plus C. After I finish this way, I'm going to back, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it in either way. If you like to use it, use it. So this this one over ten over three. Right. One over one times three times three. Ten over three. This ten over three. And the top five plus three x ten over three. Plus c. And this ten over three goes up becomes what? Three over what? Ten, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Now look my I, the way I told you about it. But you forgot uh, plus c. Ten over three. Did you bring the x? Oh, uh, time three. Yeah, no, I just the coefficient, the derivative. Yeah, the derivative. Yes, three cancel with three. <clears throat> then there is no three here. Thank you. The other way I'm talking about. Look here, we have five. Maybe you guys are gonna like it. Five plus three x. What we have in the top? What's my exponent, right? This is three. Seven, you add the top to the bottom, and you leave the bottom. You add the top to the bottom, which is 7 plus 3, which is 10, right? Look how easy this way. You leave the bottom, you add the top to the bottom, which is 10, right? Then you bring this guy here, you flip it, 3 over 10. You divide by the derivative of this guy, which is what? 3, right? Plus C. You see how easy this way? I'm going to give you another one. Okay, 5 plus 3x plus 7 over 3, right? And then I left the bottom as is, 7 plus 3 is 10, right? Over 3, good? Mm -hmm. And you divide down 3, cancel with the 3. What we have? 1 over 10, 5 plus 3x, 10 over 3 plus c. One more example. One more example. Let me just get rid of this and let me see if he's going to help me. Smile. He's going to help me with this. Integration of 4 over 5x. Follow me, mister. 3 minus 2x to the 3 dx. It looks hard. But since this linear, since this a linear function is not hard. Okay, what we have? What the first step, Mr. Ismail? I'll turn it into an exponential form. Four. four. Right? I can't take the four out, but I can leave it in also. Four. And here, three minus two x. Three fifth dx. Then take it up, right? Yeah. Take it up. Integration for three minus two x negative three y yes. dx. Now apply my rule, Ismail. Leave the four. Three minus two x. Leave your y. You see, you leave the denominator, right? Now we add negative 3 plus 5 in the side, if you don't want to mess up. You add the top to the bottom, right? Which is how much? 2. And you flip it here. You see this guy here, 2 fifth? Whatever that guy comes, 5 over 2, right? And the plus C. Guys, this one and this 2, 10. 3 minus 2x, 2 fifth plus c. Guys, thank you, and uh, be careful. Have a nice day. If you have any question, don't forget to contact me as before.